Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 40 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2016 with FC United. And today we've got a game in the FA Cup. Hopefully this could be the season we go on a bit of a FA Cup run. I always have that dream of getting faced against a big club, like a Premier League club. We can go far enough for that, but it just never happens. Like we just <laughs> lose against like these crap teams um, because well, I suppose you could say we were a crap team ourselves, but I really think we are pushing towards becoming a better club now. I just hope we can win in a few rounds. And today at home against Sutton Coldfield, I really think we should be beating this team. Uh, they've got a few injuries as well. Injury to their main goalkeeper. I guess he's not going to play, or if he does, uh, he's going to be severely hampered. Thomas Glover, who's actually Australian, he's not too bad. If I look at his like quality, and maybe some of their other players as well, like they're not terrible, not too much worse than our players. Take a look at one of their strikers. He's got 16 finishing. Ooh, he's a regen. And how much potential? Ooh, he's potential to be a League 2 striker. Maybe. His report? Is he that much better than my strikers? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm thinking of him uh, putting him on the short list. Maybe consider signing. Would he want to join? He would. Okay, there we go. Out of nowhere. Because there's an issue for us at the minutes. Because he's got 16 finishing, don't forget. I'm going to keep my eye on this guy, <laughs> most definitely, Scott Daly. But, yeah, that's what I mean. They've just got these kind of players. They're not going to be as easy. Who else? Bruno Andrade. Again, uh, he's got a bit of pace, so he could be a danger still with a bit of flair also. But I'll show you the recent results. You can see we're in third now, staying around the same position. But as you can see, our form hasn't been the greatest compared to the start of the season. We were getting some more wins. Uh, but you can see in this period here, we've only won one game in the last five. As you can see, five games there. Still only the one loss, and we've got a few draws. So we're picking up points in most games, uh, which is good. As you can see, 30 points we're on right now after 17, which is better than I thought I would do, uh, most definitely. But we got to make sure, like, because of how we started in this season, and I'll think it would be a failure if we don't finish at least in the playoffs, at least fifth. I'd like to finish, yeah, to at least be in the playoffs. Who knows if we could win? It will be very hard. But obviously I'll be eyeing promotion, as I mentioned, because of how we started so far. It's given us a good opportunity to get that. So we'll be going into... Uh, the game for this episode, and yeah, it is just one game I'm doing for now. I know a few of you, few of you guys mentioned that I'm doing one game in an episode. Basically, the episodes are shorter and won't be as long, and I just I want to try that for a certain amount of time because maybe the response will be better to my videos in terms of uh, likes on the videos. I notice for the amount of views I get on my videos compared to maybe some other people, yeah. Um, and, and it really, it, it is important. It helps my channel a lot. So it doesn't take, it doesn't take long at all. Just to press that like on, on the, uh, on the video, uh, really. And it, it helps my channel. And sometimes I would get a certain amount of likes, uh, for certain videos I did when I did face cam for a while. Like I don't feel why you would feel more inclined to like it just because my face in it is in a box. If you think about it in that way, that's like a little, uh, a little kind of, thing where it doesn't really doesn't affect too much for you to like it or not like it. I never understood why that would get more likes than um, not showing my face in the video so that's been something on my mind and it it affects your channel in a big way really so I'd appreciate it from now if you yeah, just take a second <laughs> out of the video to hit the like button and that would definitely help the channel and mean I'll be able to yeah, do more videos uh, for the most part. So that's a good thing. But anyway, to more important issues right now, Liam Davis has picked up an injury. And I thought, oh, simple. I'll just recall Henry Collins because I did put that option in his contract. See, it says can be recalled. But if I go to transfer, there's no option there. And contract as well, there's... I can't remember which one it would show, but I can't recall him, even though I put in the contract. And if it's only in January, that's pretty stupid, because the only reason I loaned him out was so he can get experience, but also if we needed him back because of an injury, 
yeah, I wouldn't have loaned him out if I couldn't recall him at any time. If it could only be in January, that would be that would be stupid if it's only a transfer window. You can, in real life, I'm pretty sure, unless there's specific rules, and if you don't have that option in the contract, yeah, that's understandable, but it says can be recalled, and I should be able to recall him at any time. But anyway, we'd, it's not going to affect us because obviously George Maris is going to be starting uh, even though he hasn't scored. That could be a problem. He and Cunnington haven't scored at all this season. But the thing is, Henry Collins isn't any better than those players in terms of like attributes. He's worse, if anything. So, And you can see four, he scored, but it's a lower division, of course. And you look, his ratings isn't the best. So I don't think it'll make a huge difference. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I know people talk about the inside forwards, the role ability isn't the greatest, but again, it allows the fullbacks to get forward and the attributes as well. Look, just for example, David Quinn will go, he's not the best rated for inside forward. Wing is obviously better, but if you go support there, we'll click on it and it covers like the majority of his best attributes. That's at least what compared to Winger as well. It covers a lot of his better attributes. So, yeah, as I mentioned, it's it's not as bad as the star suggests. <laughs> it is a low rating for a senior team, but David Quinn's been one of our better players as a young player. So, again, don't take too much into it. As well, even Minahan, like two stars, and Ed Harris. Ed Harris is really. I know Billy Simpson seems like he's doing better, but I still think Ed Harris is our best centre back and definitely plays better than a two star role ability, in my view, anyway. And even Alex Baird in goals, he's been pretty solid. So, yeah, let's head into. Actually, we'll go on attacking because, yeah, I alter that as you know, depending if I'm playing at home or away, and depending what team I'm playing against also. And you can see they're playing five at the back. They've got three centre-backs, then the two wing-backs. Again, I really think uh, we can... They could, they're really expecting us to attack them, and they probably want to play on the counter a bit more, so we go passionately. Come on, lads, we are the favourites here, and show me what you can do. We'll start the match now. Throw in, early in the game. Maris... Oh, see, he hasn't been bad. You look at the stats and you see he hasn't scored because you really haven't seen him how he's played majority of games. And he's been okay. He's created opportunities. Minahan, please, that, that should only be a yellow card. Can't be anything more than that. Yeah, just a yellow. I was scared there. See, because these cup games, just always something happens in them. And now Phillips, oh... Baird, I talked about it. He's been saving some really good opportunities. Like, that could have easily been goals. So, he's doing the job. I'm really happy because he's Australian as well. It's good to see him doing well uh, for us, making some saves. He's been better most definitely this season. He's He's got to more saves, and he's made more saves. But here, Stone, and that's it for this highlight. We do have a few yellow cards, you can see. Uh, two were picked up in the first 11, and then uh, Ryan Pace for them picks up a card. So the ref seems to be fairly, I don't know, fairly strict, I guess you can say, with giving away the cards. Min oh, come on, Minahan. Nassery finds Quinn, but yeah, Quinn has really impressed me. I have to say that as a young lad coming into the team. Nassery finds Maris. Can he score? See, that wasn't a bad shot. It was on target, like his other one. He's just very good goalkeeping. Oh, so close. And now it's Evans. Walker, oh, that was a poor pass. Maybe the right idea, but just couldn't execute it, unfortunately. Maybe a bit of a team talk is needed right now. Assertively concentrate. You see, someone's looking nervous, another looking complacent. We'll see. This is almost seems like the same opportunity. Throw in from a similar position. Walker. Walker finds Maris. Maybe this time, nah. That was a poor decision. I think he tried to pass it. But, oh, Minahan, how did you get to that? It's McClure. McClure, he wastes that. Apparently, he said it was great play, well, I guess, until the finish. See, their goalkeeper's doing really well. That's surprising. Look, his condition is depleting. So, will he be able to continue to do this well for the rest of the game? It's interesting that he is doing that well uh, with a lower condition. So, what we are going to do, I'm going to put shoot on sites and we'll go more direct and even what higher tempo. Just to, I want to create more opportunities here and we'll go higher. We're, ha we're playing at home, don't forget, and be more expressive. Maybe hit some early crosses. I'm going really, I'm not sure you call it extreme, but we're really going more attacking now because I want to take that opportunity. We'll go assertively. Oh my, what are we going to say? 
get back out there and grab that one goal for to win this for us. I want more than one goal. That would be nice. But we need that goal first. And I think if we do, another could come and we could finish it off. But definitely that's getting ahead of myself. We need that, we need that one goal first. So we'll see if we can do that. Think about putting the fullbacks on attack as well, but I'll leave it maybe for the first 10 minutes or so. See if we create something, but it doesn't look too likely. Here we go. We'll see what happens here, and I may make a change. So that was a good ball, or, or bad ball, I guess, <laughs> by their keeper. He just created a good opportunity for us. So maybe, yeah, he's a bit slacking now. Come on, Quinn. Minahan. Yeah, nothing's going to happen. So now we're going to go to advanced tactics and fullbacks. We'll put them on attack. There you go. Uh, I'm just thinking, uh, David Quinn, uh, not the best of game, but Maris again, he doesn't look like scoring. So we're going to have to... See, Catton can still play striker. It will be interesting to try him there. I'm going to try him, yeah, try him striker actually. Would it be better Pocho? It's about the same kind of role, so we'll leave it. But again, oh, it's... Do we bring on Matthew Williamson or well, Sam Walker has a yellow card? Jack Phillips. Oh, uh, at this point, I, I'm not sure. We'll just make the one change. Catton. And if he comes on and scores, that will be a bit of a relief for me, knowing we have another striker option and he can find the back of the net. We'll have to see. I, I want to win here at home. Most definitely, we've got to be beating this team. Surely. It doesn't seem like anything's going to happen. That's our problem at the minute. Uh, um, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just like... <laughs> I don't have a kind of thought here on what to do. Sam Walker, I have to take him off. I can't risk getting a second yellow, and I have a feeling it could happen. I'm going to play with two central midfielders now, put Matt Robertson in that role. And I want to save one sub, I think, because if... Catton doesn't look like scoring. Maybe we can put him on the left or, yeah, maybe save it to, like, 75th minute or something. And we'll see if that does anything. Okay, now it's a throw-in. Uh, I have a feeling here. Come on, this has to be it. Robinson, no penalty. No, he won the ball. No, they're going to counter now. <laughs> it's Daly. What is he going to do here? Is he going to do anything? He's going to put it in. It's Hallahan. No. Oh, that was a good opportunity for them, but they wasted it. And I think, yeah, we're going to make a change now. I think I will. I'll take, uh, I'm going to take David Quid on, off, I should say, actually. And we're going to bring on Adam Cunnington. And we'll put Micah Evans on that side. And we're improving the suitability of some roles here. That's a good thing. And Adam Cunnington will go as a target man. And we're going to reflect it with going overload and exploit the middle, pump the ball into the box. Instead of hitting early crosses, I'm going to look for the overlap, those fullbacks getting forward, and we'll float the crosses in. Uh, we'll go narrow as well. Just want to go direct uh, to the target man, uh, take more risks as well. And there we go. Hopefully, that will make the change we need and inside forwards as well. We'll put them on attack so we can try and create something here. We have to, really. We need that goal. Cunnington. I'll say assertively, I'm looking for you to make the difference. Uh, honestly, I thought he would have done much better. I oh, know, I've only started him because I started him in two games earlier in the season. Didn't do too much. Attributes seem well-rounded. Now he's going down, though, so that's not very promising. Like, I thought he could be a consistent goal scorer, uh, but our other striker was. But now he's injured. That's the problem. Unfortunately, now, though, we don't have a reliable goal scorer. Maybe... Could be the opportunity now. Go. Yes, Minahan. Minahan Cunnington. Finally. Well done. And hopefully he can start scoring some more goals now. First ever goal for FC United of Manchester for Cunnington. And Sam Minahan. He creates a lot from out wide. Getting the fullbacks even more forward now. And Evans. Uh, he gave it to Minahan. And then, yeah, Cunnington too good in the air. We need to give him more opportunities because no doubt he can finish. I just have a feel we haven't been giving him that service, I really think. So just under five minutes remaining now, we should be able to hold on to this Sutton cold field. Haven't really looked likely in this game. They've had a few chances though. Can't deny that. 
but for the most part, we've looked like the winners. We've created good chances. Look at the ratings difference as well. Uh, pretty good, especially Minahan stepping up, having another good game. He's been excellent, and he's only been getting better as a player. Uh, there'll be a late highlight here. I wouldn't expect anything will come from it. Last 20 seconds, Daly to Hoyts. They do have a chance. They, they have an opportunity, but they give it away. They had a chance there, but they couldn't really do anything with it as the time ticks past. And ideally, I would have wanted to win that game by a bit more. But at the end of the day, we advanced. Simple as that. Sam Minahan had a great game at the back and also getting forward. Just everything. Did everything today. And we just move forward now into the next round. So there we go. We win and we get the money. We get 12K. Pretty decent, but it's not like major for us considering our overall balance. But of course, any money at this level is great as we're, we, we are, uh, I don't want to say we're rich, but we do have more money than most teams at this level, but we still always will accept any money coming our way because when, yeah, like I said, we're definitely not rich still. So we definitely want to improve our finances. And something interesting here, talking about finances, FC United gate receipts of 28K. Don't forget about that. We get money from the gate receipts from the game against Sutton Coldfield that we just played. It's It was higher than ever before, and it's a new club record. The previous uh, record was 22K against Bradford PA. So I'd like to think, uh, what well, we've got Braintree next. Uh, that's our next game, but there's a FA Cup first round draw. Those are going to be the games uh, I'll be playing on camera now at least. That will be the next episode, or oh, 87 teams. So see, if you look at the teams that are drawn here, it's not those higher-level teams yet. So I'm just going to... I, I would like to think... See, there's be, the team like like League 2 teams, I think. Like you see Portsmouth and uh, Plymouth, that kind of quality. So we draw all teams. I'd love for it to be at home again. Yeah, it is at home. Oh, it's League 1. See, this is what I mean. I at least wanted to... This is the first step. But to beat Barnsley, that's going to be... That, they're going to have... I talk about playing against a Premier League team, but th this kind of team is still going to be so much more better than us. Their meter prediction's fifth as well, so you'd think they'll be decent. The only thing is they're probably not having the best season in 17th, and the morale is poor. That's the only upside we'll have. But you see names, like popular names in there you might know of. Matt Derbyshire, uh, J. Emmanuel Thomas, just some names. Gary O'Neill, uh, Experience 35, Peter Whittingham, uh, those kind of names. But we'll just check our message. And it's going to be at home, so we're going to get that gate receipts again. So we should break that record even more so now. So excited about that. So we've got two games to play before that. I've got to be careful, maybe rest some players, or maybe with the Braintree match. Where are they? Braintree. Uh, Braintree are seventh. And then we've got Forest Green. They're very close to each other. But in terms of what match comes after that, I think we'll... Uh, go for the win at home against Braintree. Maybe rest some guys against Forest Green to make sure, yeah, we go hard against Barnsley. Imagine if we can advance, but I'm not imagining, I'm not imagining we will. Uh, yeah, I don't imagine uh, we will advance, but it'll be good the gate receipts. At least that's a new achievement for me, getting, yeah, getting faced against a team like that. So that's the positive. Regardless, win or lose, we're going to get some good gate receipts. If you thought the one we got for this game <laughs> was pretty good. So, as I said earlier, a like would be really appreciated on this video. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll see you guys next time.